with a dear Frampton. Of course, you'll remember her from The Voice. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? We're good. Welcome to Malaysia. Thank you. First time? Yes. And what's your first impression? A lot more green than I thought. Okay. That was my first impression. Literally, when I got out of the airport, I was like, it's very, very green. Even in the city, there's so many trees mm -hmm. because lots of, you know, the regions around here in Asia, I feel like they're very green, but it, once you get to the city, it's yeah. lots of buildings, yeah. Yeah. just a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. But here, there's still so many plants. Well, very nice. nature. I like it. Does Bubbly feel like a million years ago now? Ever, whenever that song comes on the radio, just the feeling that comes up, I'm just like, oh man. That's yeah. the song I did. Yeah. That's the one that kind of got you, yeah. not in the door. I mean, you've, no. all, you've been performing a lot. I mean, yeah, I've been before. performing a long time, but it's definitely the song that, you know, I took with me to the starting point. And it's kind of funny because I remember even when I had done that song, I was like, okay, you'll, you'll, you know, I think it fits me as far as, you know, just. I don't know. I, I can't call myself sweet nature because that's not entirely true. But, you know, it's like I picked that kind of fun song and then people next to me were singing like Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You, like belting it out. So sometimes I was like, what am I doing here? As a songwriter, there's so many ideas that's just running around in your head. And obviously the, the, when you, the next day after writing that, that song in your head, you think, well, it's not too good. But if I did this, it's going to be great. You still, do you have more tools right now after being in it for so long? I was talking to somebody the other day because I, I started writing for my second album and right after this tour here and then in Indonesia I'm going to go home and finish the second record. And they said, oh cool, how many songs have you written? And I said, about 20 so far. And they said, oh great, so when's it going to be done? And I was like, it's going to take a while because I only like one of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, no. That's how I am, I just... I'll listen to something over and over and over again and I'm all about a song that can be timeless because there's so many great pop songs but after a while it's just like get that out yeah. of my head. Yeah, it feels really dated. Uh -huh. and, and so I've tried to escape that and it's hard. Um, you know, people don't write classic Billy Joel songs anymore. He kills me. <laughs> oh, you're writing a lot of songs right now. Do you still consider yourself as a, a children's author? Because that's what they introduced <laughs> yeah. you as on The Voice. So, yeah. Um, do you even have time to write stories? My New Year's resolution is to finish a book that I've been working on for three or four years now. I'm on my final draft. It's a dark romance. I read somewhere that uh, it's about a guy who dies and goes to hell. hell. Is that the one? Wait for the wife yeah. to I would ahead. <laughs> yeah, Basically, cool. it's like the romance of man wants to get to his woman, yeah. but the obstacle is he's in hell and she is hopefully in heaven and he's trying to find out. So yeah. one moment here we are talking about death and husband in hell and wife in heaven and, <laughs> and really dark stuff. Then we read about you doing a Korean cover of a To Anyone song. <laughs> and are you big on K-pop? Um, honestly, my mom is the one who got me into it because my mom, my mom's from Seoul. Oh, right. And, uh, I'm half Korean. And I always do covers very often. And my mom just said, why don't you do something that I can understand once in a while? And so I started listening to current Korean music and found 21. And I really like that one because a lot of uh, K pop's really dancey, which very. is really fun. But, uh, it's fun to watch the videos because it just makes me think what a terrible dancer I would be. Oh, no! no, no. I'd be like the 15th member in the back, like... <laughs> yeah, the 15th I member, think, right? There's so many I think you them. do a great Gangnam style. Thank you. Now, speed round. we always do this thing called speed round, which is a word association. First thing that pops in your head, just spit it out. The one advice my mom or dad gave me that I still remember. How babies No, go ahead. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's gonna be BG. <laughs> Let's just put it, keep it there. Favorite okay. sport? Basketball. Favorite TV show? How I Met Your Mother. Oh, movie you watched recently? The Princess Bride. Your worst habit is? To, uh... No, I, there's too many, that's why I'm pausing. <laughs> it's not like I don't have any. Um, my worst habit, forgetting to shave my legs. Oh. Okay. That's not too bad. Worst advice you've ever given or received? Mmm... <laughs> Luck. Good luck. Oh, okay. What? what you wanted to have bad luck? 
No, I just don't really believe in love. All right. Oh, okay. Even working Much for yes. And your done. your secret guilty pleasure. Cake. <laughs> yeah.